something I could do. First thing I'm gonna be adding to my face is the Glossier Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. This product is so nice on the skin. It gives you like such glowy little like dew from within. It's as if you've had all the sleep you wanted and I've used it a couple of times at this point and I really love how it works with other products um, simply because I don't know in what category they put this if it's like a primer or a skincare it is said to put at the end of your skincare um, after sunscreen so I would consider this more of like a glowy primer if you do have oily skin I'm not sure this is for you but if like me you have dry skin you're definitely definitely going to enjoy this what I like to do is apply it and allow it to sit on my face and then I'm gonna move on to my brow products and the first one is the brow flick in brown this is like a felt tip kind of pen to create hair like strokes I really love these ever since I got the Urban Decay um, I think it's street brows or something I've really been loving that pen f like you know to create hair like strokes and the color brown works perfectly fine it's quite dark so if you are used to going with brown colored things keep in mind that even if you have like dark hair like me this brown does look like it does tint and this is actually pretty long lasting so thoroughly enjoy this and then I got the boy brow the boy brow is I find kind of a hybrid between um, Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel and the benefit 24 hour um, brow this is like in the middle it's like a brow gel but it gives you like that kind of like mi micro bladed look and it's just really nice I got the boy brow in clear because I'm not really a fan of colored brow products like you know gel type brow products like setting brow products um, I think I was scarred by the Anastasia Beverly Hills the brow gel thing so next yeah. off I'm gonna go in with sky wash um, this comes in a whole bunch of different colors but I decided to go with the color echo because I was like if this doesn't work out I'd rather have this in a brown color that I can then use to I don't know contour or something like in case if it didn't work I'd rather be stuck with a brown than say a lime green or <laughs> like a sky blue if you know what I mean but now that I've tried this I really actually like it it just gives you that nice little subtle wash of color on your lids um, I feel like if you are getting it in other colors, you do feel like, oh, okay, this is like a dope product, especially if you're not really into complicated eye looks. However, like if you're taking this color Echo, you could achieve what I'm about to do with like a bronzer <laughs> or any brown shadows you have lying about. I don't think that there's anything particularly unique to this product. It is long lasting. But the thing is, when it comes to colors, like eye wash colors and stuff like that, I feel like it's more of a um, by color basis because I wouldn't be surprised to hear that maybe the blue or the green doesn't come out as nicely as the brown would because they're much more well not much more but they're more difficult products to to create like to formulate so yeah that's what I think about that the sort of color you can either apply with your fingertips or with a brush whichever kind of work I will advise that if you're using it with a brush that you go in with like a fluffy brush not a flat brush and then just blend it out and you get the same amount of opacity it doesn't really change from one or the other so if you have long nails and or you don't like using 
your fingers to apply product. A fluffy brush will do and you're not losing much opacity or anything like it's truly just a flush of color and i really like this echo because you can kind of like slowly build it up and i figured that maybe if you allow it to dry a little bit you can probably get a little bit more color out but i'm just gonna apply to areas to deepen that area and just elongate the eye a little bit even if you leave it a little bit it still blends out really seamlessly if you're looking for full opacity, this is not what you're gonna find here. That's why I wonder how this would fare on deeper skin tones. Well, maybe not this echo because it might be very close to your skin tone, but this is really, really nice. I truly like how it looks and it's just like so effortless. So finger blend or brush blend doesn't really change. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the face and I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Huge Boosting Perfecting Foundation and I really like this because it's really lightweight and my shade is in number 8 so I basically have some in here and the beauty of the Future Do is that you can actually add it to your foundation to make it even more luminous so I'm gonna add like about half a pump in there oh, I can see the the wonder glow on its own already has a sort of glow to it but by adding the future dew it's just even more magical I don't know how to explain it and I do know that Glossier has some skin product they do have like a foundation powder and concealer but I still have a whole bunch of foundations and I got a concealer not that long ago and I have a whole bunch of powders so I didn't want to add to it maybe along the line when I'm out of a foundation, concealer and powder I will get that trio but at this moment I don't feel the need to and I haven't heard that great of feedback from the foundation but I do hear the concealer is really really good so that is something I might maybe check out sooner rather than later I don't know I'll see next off we're gonna be applying some blush and I got the cloud paints in storm and dawn and then there's storm which is said to be a warm rose so this is what storm looks like and I really love these gouache like paint containers like paint tubes I find it really practical and just easy to just fling in your bag and over here you have Dawn and it's this really beautiful orange coral color it's really bright and it looks quite intimidating I'm just gonna add a smidge more storm i've actually added way too much on the back of my hand to be honest you really do need just a little bit and i'm gonna mix them both to get this kind of color and i know it looks super intimidating right now but on the cheeks it's just perfection so you just apply them at the tip of your fingertips and then it's all about blending it out. You know it's gonna look crazy, but it's all about placement and blending. Now that most of my face, actually all my face is done, we're gonna move back in to the eyes and I got the pro tip aligner in black I don't recall if there's like another color of this but um, I've tried this liner a couple of times and I like it but I don't love it I find that the felt tip is maybe a little bit too bendy but I will say one thing I do really like about it it, it is that it's long-lasting so that's definitely a plus so there it is that is the eyeliner it is a nice eyeliner and it's true that it's really fine but it's not my favorite it's nice and i feel like as i'm getting used to it and i know what to expect and 
how much pressure to apply it's getting easier to use but there is like a i feel like a learning curve which is which is kind of interesting so next off is the mascara and it's the lash sleep and it's in black it's an interesting mascara because i would say it's a good mascara for separating your lashes or even like a good mascara for your bottom lashes or a good mascara for when you want to apply false lashes however i don't find that it's like a stand alone mascara because it's good at like separating your lashes but it doesn't do a great job at lengthening or voluminizing your lashes in any way i feel like it's a kind of mascara that if you already have beautiful lashes it will slightly enhance them but if like me you have like super duper curly lashes that don't have much anything to them it's just uncurled my lashes but that's the only thing it's done i guess for an everyday type thing it's a good thing but yeah this is what i think about that mascara this product that i picked was the glossier gloss lip gloss in holographic i think they have like two other shades like a pink and a reddish color but i decided to go with the holographic because i like me clear gloss and the thing that's really cute about this is that it is a clear gloss with like holographic specs in it it's really comfortable on the lips i really do like the applicator for it it's quite bendy and it does collect enough product to really evenly coat your lips and it gives you this really super nice shine here i do have some lip liner on and it's the mac um, lip liner in boldly bare but obviously you can wear the gloss on its own as well but i thought that this would bring the whole look together and this gloss is actually really nice i now want to check out the more colorful ones because i like that kind of like bitten stained glossy look but yeah this gloss is beautiful there you have it that is the look for you guys i do hope you like it i honestly love this so much like seriously who would have thought that this would give you this like this looks wild but it's just ah tell me below if you've tried any glossier products and what are your favorites what are the ones i should be checking out especially in regards to skincare now i'm kind of curious to know what the deal is and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me there are some that just popped up on the screen i'll see you in my next one bye